Hi there, I'm Dr. Shimonki, Chief Medical Officer of CBR. You might have heard the exciting news that a third person has now been essentially cured of HIV after receiving a cord blood transplant for leukemia. This is wonderful news, which of course gives us a chance to speak a little bit about cord blood. Cord blood is an amazing biological resource. While it can be used in much the same way as bone marrow for treating certain inherited disorders and cancers, it also demonstrates several unique qualities that distinguish it from bone marrow. For example, cord blood transplants are less likely to cause something called graft versus host disease, where the transplanted cells attack the recipient. That was a very interesting distinction that we saw in this latest HIV treatment case versus the first two patients whose HIV infection was eliminated following bone marrow transplant. This story also serves as another reminder that we continue to find new novel uses for cord blood. People are often surprised that even though cord blood is approved for transplant treatment of over 80 conditions, such as in this case, over 80% of the units we've released to CBR families over the years have actually been for regenerative medicine use, and the indications for use continue to expand. The other important thing to remember is that the far majority of people who've used their cord blood didn't know at the time they stored it with CBR that they would be using it one day. We have one fleeting opportunity to bank cord blood and cord tissue, they're both amazing biological resources, and I would love to see more families take advantage of this opportunity. Please let us know if you have any questions about banking your baby's newborn stem cells.